my vlog. <laughs> I mean, you know, in Australia, museum. Let's go. The museum. and her borders were at risk.
Sundown Ray, the third pair of the 1996. When he ascended to the throne, Egypt was a miracle throughout Egypt. in a peace that lasted nearly a century. and his Egyptian forces are on the march. Their aim, to seize control of the city-state of Kadesh from their rival, the Hittite Kingdom, and expand Egypt's borders. The Hittite king amasses his army. A coalition of tens of thousands of fierce warriors from allied territories, and also moves toward Kadesh. Egyptian accounts say the Hittites covered the mountains and filled the valleys and were like locusts in their numbers. King Ramses is woefully outnumbered, but he is not one to back down. Among his troops are warriors from his previous conquests, Nubians, Libyans, and Sheridan pirates. Just hours from their target. Ramses receives intel that the Hittites are still several days' journey away. He decides to make camp with his Amun division. His other battalions, including an elite force from Amuru, are still hours away. Ramses will launch his attack once the rest of his army arrives. But his plan is soon foiled. Near camp, Ramses' guards interrogate two Hittite defectors. They reveal the Hittite army is actually in hiding just across the river. Suddenly, the Hittites' chariots smash into Ramses' raid division. In the melee, the Egyptians flee and lead the Hittites directly into the sanctuary of the Egyptian king. Ramses faces thousands of enemy charioteers. Pharaoh fights bravely, his pet lion at his side, while the Hittite king waits in safety on the other side of the river. The battle rages, and the Hittites sense victory. But Ramses is not 
Yancey's elite warriors arrive, giving their king the power to wage a counterattack. Unleashing a fury of arrows, the Egyptians force the attacks back across the river. Ramses himself describes the scene. I made them plunge into the water like crocodiles. Those who fell down did not rise. Most of the Hittite force drown or are killed, including the king's brother. The Hittite king calls for a truce. To count the dead, Ramses' soldiers remove a hand from each fallen Hittite. And King Ramses rides away from the field of battle, declaring himself the victor. A Hittite version of the story suggests the battle was at best a draw. Seventeen years after the Battle of Kadesh, King Ramses signed a treaty with the Hittites. It ushered in a peace that lasted nearly a century. It is the first peace treaty recorded in history and remains the basis for treaties between nations today. King Ramses believed his victory at Kadesh was the greatest achievement of his reign. He celebrated it in extraordinary detail on temples throughout Egypt, making it the most famous battle of the ancient world. In the Pharaoh's own words, I found the enemy chariots scattering before my horses. I slaughtered them at my will. Behold, I am victorious. Me alone.
probably an heirloom treasure in the king's lifetime. Yes.